Hello students, welcome to online class. So today's class is about chain and wire rope for power transmission. So in mechanical system, power is transmitted from one to another. There are several methods of power transmission. Okay, already some of the method of power transmission you might be knowing. So if you want to know which one uh, this method in power transmission is, first one is belt drive. So in belt drive we transmit power transmission, right? So next one is gear drive. So same way, fluid power transmission for example, hydraulic and pneumatic system is also there. So by, uh, by using this method, we transmit power. So already you might be knowing all this method. So in this video, we will see how this chain and wire rope is used for power transmission. Okay. So here, one, uh, uh, this one, sketch is given about uh, rope chain, uh, this one, uh, rope chain. Uh. So rope drives uh, are used for longer distance and for large amount of power transmission. So here one, uh, two sketches is, is given, you can see that first sketch. Where, where there is longer distance uh, uh, this, uh, between the, both the pulley. Where there only this uh, rope drives are used. You can see in first sketch, one pulley is in one corner and other one pulley is in the other corner. Okay, so this is used where the lot uh, uh, used for a long distance and a large amount of power transmission. Okay, wherever the uh, long uh, large distance and all it is there, there this uh, rope drives are used. There is one advantage of this uh, rope drive. <coughs> then. Uh, Second one, the road rights are mainly employed in mining and textile industries. So mining means like uh, your uh, iron ore mining uh, or cast iron mining. Uh, there and all uh, this uh, rope uh, drives are used. Other one is textile. Textile means uh, you can say uh, this one garments uh, where uh, they are uh, producing uh, uh, dress material and all. Okay, there and all uh, this uh, rope drives will be useful, very useful. Next one, uh, one disadvantage also is there, that is given that rope drives can be employed when there is a misalignment between the pulley within the limit. So if there is a, uh, this, uh, this one, uh, the center distance should be proper. Suppose if it is there uh, any misal, uh, this one, uh, limit all if it is not proper means, then there will be misalignment between uh, uh, the both the pulleys okay within it should be within the limits if it is not within the limit means uh, then it will there will be a misalignment so road drives can be employed when there is a misalignment between the pulleys within the limits uh, and in fluctuating temperature and humidity condition okay it should be proper suppose uh, due, uh, due to that fluctuating uh, temperature and humidity condition there will be misalignment so that point also you should be noted so that is one disadvantage of this uh, rope drive okay so first one uh, actually this is used for long distance and for uh, a larger amount of power transmission for larger amount of power trans transmission this rope drives are will be useful and normally it will be used in uh, mining as well as uh, in textile industries so next one is the jockey pulley so here one uh, sketch i give one uh, jockey pulley two pulleys are uh, shown in uh, down one uh, one it is driver pulley, another one is driven pulley. Driver pulley is a bigger one, bigger diameter it is called as a driver pulley, that in, it is named as a driving pulley. Other one is a smaller one, it is known as a driven pulley. So jockey pulley is used when the distance between the both, the center distance between the both the pulley is large, there will be slack side, upper side will be slack side, it is given in the sketch. Uh, downside it is a creep side, tight side, okay. So first I will read the definition. The contact surface between the belt and the pulley is increased by providing a jockey pulley. You can see that in the sketch. Uh, which increases the wrapping angle and transmit high torque. So torque will be more. Suppose if you introduce a jockey pulley, the torque between the both the pulley, uh, this one uh, uh, between the belt will be more. Suppose if that jockey pulley, if, it is, if you are not uh, introducing what will happen, uh, 
due to when uh, running there, if there is a uh, what is that if it is loose the belt may come out from the pulley so if you put that uh, jockey pulley there will be no slippage of the belt and all okay so the contacting surface between the belt and the pulley is increased by providing a jockey pulley which increases the wrapping angle and transmit high torque torque will be also more so the jockey pulley should be uh, put on the slack side of the belt near the driving pulley you can see that jockey pulley is uh, kept above where it is there slack side and it is there uh, directly out to introduce down it is tight side okay down it is tight side it is given in that sketch okay this is uh, uh, the example of that jockey pulley next one is chain and sprockets so chain and sprockets already you have seen in uh, cycle and it will come two wheeler uh, in uh, two wheeler uh, also it will comes uh, correct now so this you can see one uh, best example is cycle uh, one sketch is given uh, of that uh, chain and sprocket uh. so chain drives are used for transmission power uh, transmission of motion of constant velocity ratio without grip and slippage so in this uh, grip and uh, there won't be grip as well as uh, slippage and all won't be there because it is chain no that uh, link uh, it, uh, roller ch uh, chain it will uh, go and sit in that uh, link you can see that in the sketch okay sharp edge it is there no? that it will go and uh, sit in that uh, roller okay so there is there won't be any uh, misalignment of this okay so here uh, they have shown uh, type uh, c is sprocket and uh, type b uh, it is means uh, two one is driver uh, another one is uh, driven uh, type c is uh, driver and uh, type b is uh, driven so in middle that uh, chain will uh, go on uh, moving in that so in this uh, there is no chance of slippage also okay so chain rails are used for transmission of motion at constant velocity ratio without grip and slippage so chains are used in conjunction with the sprocket and pinions and sprocket wheels so chains and sprockets are available in both british and metric standards so they are available in both in metric as well as british uh, metric means in mm or millimeter and british means it may be in inch or meter so in both it is available so the sprockets are generally keyed to the shaft so that sprocket you can see one small keyway is given in that so when you insert the shaft inside that so if you insert that key means uh, they were, there may be no chance of slippage okay the shaft will rotate because the key uh, uh, kept in between the shaft and uh, about that uh, sprocket so slippage and all will be uh, less there is there may be no chance of slippage only so one uh, key is introduced uh, between uh, sprocket and shaft okay so this is chain and sprocket huh? so next is advantages of chain drive what are the advantages of chain drive so positive contact between the chains and the drive sprocket eliminates the possibility of slip so it is uh, run is positive in uh, belt drive there may be chance of slippage in this uh, there is no chance of slippage only because uh, it is uh, running on chain no? pocket no? so there is no uh, chance of slippage so positive contact contact will be positive between the chain as well as the drive and the drive sprocket eliminates the possibility of slip okay so there is a less uh, chance of slippage and uh, second point has a wide range of drying power so drying power range will be wide okay that is the second point third one can be used when there is a large distance between the driving and driven shaft so when the distance between the driver and driven is large you can use this uh, uh, chain drive okay when the distance between uh, driver and uh, driven uh, uh, this one drive is uh, more means so you can go for uh, this uh, chain drive fourth one uh, useful for uh, low speed and high torque transmission for you can use uh, for uh, at low speed also and high torque also transmission power transmission if it is high also you can use this uh, chain drive then can absorb shocks there is the fourth point sudden uh, jerk can only if it is uh, if you put also there is no chance of slippage in this in uh, where is that in belt drive if you put sudden look there is maybe chance of slippage and all so in this uh, there is uh, no chance of slippage that's why it is given can absorb shocks shock load sudden uh, load uh, the power uh, goes sudden means there is no chance of slippage and all okay next one is the chain drives are compact so in this uh, this is compact whereas in uh, uh, rope drive 
there may be chance of uh, slippage and all. In this, uh, that problem and all is not there. So next one, chain drives uh, withstand heat, dirt and weather exposure when uh, properly lubricated. So suppose any dirt and all is there means uh, or uh, due to weather condition, uh, if you lubricate properly means there is no problem in that. Okay, you have to put grease also. Okay, grease if you put means it will run a little bit smooth. So you have to see that. Uh, uh, what is that? Uh, it is properly lubricated. Okay, chain drives uh, withstand heat, dirt, and weather explosive when properly lubricated. Okay, that are the advantages of a chain drive. Next one, jockey sprocket. Like uh, how for uh, rope drive, we are putting one uh, jockey pulley. In this, also, you can introduce one uh, jockey sprocket. Okay, same. So a spring-loaded jockey sprocket can be used uh, to tension a chain uh, which transmits the drive between the sprocket uh, with the fixed center. So same like a uh, uh, jockey pulley, uh, pulley how we have introduced uh, near the belt. Uh, yeah. Same th way you can introduce one small, uh, this one, what is that, uh, jockey sprocket. Okay, spring-loaded jockey sprocket can be used to tension the chain. Chain tension will be more if you uh, use this uh, jockey sprocket on the loose side. Okay. <coughs> Next one is types of chain. In uh, types of chain, there are two types. One is roller chain and a tooth chain. We, uh, they are shown in figure number one, it is a roller chain, and figure number two, it is a tooth chain. Okay, this is uh, 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 first one you can see that uh, one uh, spur gear is there in that, uh, that roller chain is uh, meshing in that. Okay, when uh, that is of uh, roller chain, and second one, uh, it is of tooth chain. You can see that is a tooth chain, second one. Next is chain capacity. Uh, what are uh, how the capacity of the chain should be there? So chains are specified by the pitch. So it is specified by the pitch. I will go for that uh, previous sketch. So pitch in the sense means uh, from uh, one uh, link to other link. Okay, uh, in that uh, first one, uh, one uh, link is there. No, in that first uh, one, first link to other link. So that is the uh, chains are specified by the pitch. So for roller uh, chains, uh, pitch is uh, distance between the center to center, to, uh, center to center of adjust, adjust, uh, adjacent pins. Okay, for roller uh, chain pins, uh, it is the distance between the center to center of the adjacent pin. Uh, so in that previous sketch, uh, I will go. So you can see that uh, a link uh, from uh, uh, that one uh, one diameter to other diameter. The center to uh, center of that. Uh, to uh, the next uh, link to center that will be the pitch okay so width refers to normal uh, uh, width of the link uh, measured within the side of the plate width means that uh, thickness of that uh, link that will uh, depends on the width okay then diameter means the actual outside diameter of the roller diameter means OD, outer diameter OD. that depends on the outside diameter of the roller what diameter it is having uh, uh, roller that is the uh, chain capacity okay so today's class we have discussed about chain and uh, wire uh, rope transmission and about jockey pulley and uh, chain and sprocket and what are the advantages of uh, chain drive and rope drive you have seen that uh, ch uh, chain drives uh, 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 this one uh, drive will be a little bit smoother whereas in rope drive uh, there may be chance of slippage and all okay Next one we have discussed about uh, chains, types of chains. There are two types of chains. One is roller chain and other one is a tooth chain. Okay. Next one uh, we have seen about chain capacity. I hope you have understood this lesson. Thank you.